there is a ferret in my pants right now. How did, oh my God, there, she's all the way up here. Oh, ow, ow, ah. Oh. Today's uh, video is gonna be a tutorial on how to cut ferret's nails when you don't have someone else to do it with you. Usually it's a two person job. And the way you do it is you scruff their neck. And as you can see, when you scruff a ferret, they stay really still and you can do it. But it's hard to do that when you only have one person. And I'll show you a nice way. Oh, and the ferrets are running around, so they might move the camera a little bit. So I will move it back if they do that. I'll show you an, a way to sort of distract them so you can trim their nails. And the way to do it is to squirt some salmon oil on them. Um, you know, because if someone squirted some salmon oil on my belly, I would be distracted as well. So you just squirt it on their belly, and then that will get them to focus on um, licking it off. Um, I just realized that you can't quite see the ferrets. So let me move this down a little. There you go. More important that you see the ferrets than seeing me. Um, although I now realize that that's just a picture of my crotch now. All right. So, once you do that, then you can sort of trim their nails as they lick. The issue you have to be careful of is, and I've cut one of the ferrets this way before, so watch to see when they're almost done, because they will continue to, they'll get really squirmy when they're done. And that will, Get, that might mean that they will move in a way that you don't expect and then you can't trim them correctly. And then, uh, come on, give me your hand. There you go. There is a ferret in my pants right now. How did, oh my God, there, she's all the way up here. Oh, ow, ow, ah. Okay, one ferret is done. See, it wasn't too bad. Once they're, they're really easily distracted. So once you distract them, they will just do this all day until all of the salmon oil is off. I'm now going to move the camera angle so that you can actually see me trim the ferret's nails. This is a much better angle. Now, I'll show you what I actually do. First, say hello. Say hello. First, you squirt it into their belly. Nope, nope, stay still. And this is why you can't just hold them to do it. Um, squirt it into their belly. Get them to notice that there's oil. There we go. And then trim their nails when they're distracted. Always have to do it when they're distracted. The other option is to do this while they're asleep because they do tend to be really heavy sleepers. Um, the problem with doing it while they're asleep is you'll get your oil soon. So as you can see, they love salmon oil. It's good for their skin. Um, and it's a good source of fat in general. I like to rotate them so I can get a better angle. So it's not the end of the world if they have too much. Just don't, you know, they can get fat from it. And it's
I will give you some soon. The one that really likes this is demanding some oil. So, this is Snorlax. Squirt. See, are you happy? So see, it doesn't take all that long. Um, Gengar, which is the one that I just cut, is probably the hardest because she has the smallest body surface area to squirt on. And she curls up a lot more than the other ones. Um, which means you have to like dig their little paws out from under them to actually cut their nails. Stop! They keep trying to crawl in, into my pants, which is why I'm yelling at them. cut any animal's nails, you know, it's nice if they are, if they have light colored nails, because then you can see the little pink parts. Um, just don't cut into those. Okay, okay, you can have your thing back. All right. And then you're done. Here's a bonus. I'm also going to show you how to trim a cat's nails, um, since I have them anyways. So it helps when you start this young. Um, I used to have to um, wrap Ash in a kitty burrito to do this, but now he's used to it and he knows because I always do this when they're hungry. After we're done with this, he gets to eat. So you just hold them up like this. Um, the cat you don't have to distract because they're not quite as squirmy. But I've never tried squirting just oil into a cat's belly and seeing what happens. I imagine they're not going to like that. But with the, with the ferret's nails, they're always extended. So you sort of just have to grab their feet and go. With the cats, they, unless they're trying to claw you, their nails are retracted a little bit. So you have to push them out and then rotate and do the other side. And it's good to, you know, sort of, if I can feel him sort of pulling back a little bit, I know that I'm pushing too hard or, you know, tugging his hair in a way he doesn't like. So if you just ease up when that happens, um, you know, read your cat's body language and you will avoid injuries. Okay. And you know, and you know. And you're done. Okay. Say bye, Ash.